Hello friends, welcome to GRE Target. Our today's topic is GRE Polynomial. Suppose our equation is x square minus 7x equals to 30. Let's rewrite it. After rewriting, we will take 30 on the left hand side. So it will become negative. So x square minus 7x minus 30 is equals to 0. Now we will take a look at the two sign which is negative over here. So suppose the two sign is positive. So we will get two positive answer. Suppose we have positive and negative value. So we will get positive and negative. Suppose the two equation is positive, negative and positive. So we will get both the negative. Suppose both are negative over here. Both are negative. At that time, we will get one negative value and one positive value. First of all, we have to find out the multiplication of first digit and last digit, which is 30. So 1 over here, 1 into 30, which is 30. So we have minus 7 over here. So minus 7. We have to simplify in the same way that we get minus 7. So one value will be negative and another value will be positive. So negative 10 and positive 3. So it become negative 7 once again. So let replace in the place of negative 7. So we will get x square minus 10x plus 3x minus 30 is equals to 0. In the place of 7 minus 7x, we have put minus 10x plus 3x. Now take out common from the first two digit. Let's take the common from the first two digit. The common is x. So we will get x minus 10. From the last two digit, we will take common again 3. So we will get x minus 10. Now x minus 10 is common from the both the side. So we will take x minus 10 and the remaining value is x plus 3 is equals to 0. x minus 10 equals to 0 and x plus 3 is equals to 0. So we will get x equals to 10 and x equals to minus 3. Let's solve another example. Suppose the number is 6x square plus 22x plus 12 equals to 0. At that time we have to find out first of all the multiplication. So the multiplication of 12 and 6. The multiplication of 12 and 6 is 72. So let's start solving. Let's rewrite it. The equation. What is the value of 72? So both the value is positive. Both the value is positive. So we have to go for it. So 18 Forza, 18 Forza, 18 Forza again 72. So we will get x square plus 18x plus 4x plus 12 equals to 0. Over here, 18x plus 4s is again 22. Now let's take the common. The common is 3x from the first two digit. So we will get the remaining term 2x plus 6. From the last two digit, we will take out the common 2. So we again get 2x plus 6 equals to 0. Now 2x plus 6 is common in the both equation. And the remaining term is 3x and plus 2 equals to 0. So 2x plus 6 equals to 0 and 3x plus 2 is equals to 0. So we will get 2x equals to negative 6. Again, once again, we have to take this uh, 2 on the right hand side. So we will get 3x equals to negative 2. Now let's divide the first equation with divide by 2. So we will get x equals to minus 3. Let's divide this equation by 3. So we will get x equals to minus 2 divided by 3. Let's solve another example. Suppose our number is 4x square minus 11x plus 6 equals to 0. Over here the sign is negative and positive. At that time we have to take look at negative and positive. So both the value is negative. So first of all, we have to multiply the first and the last term. So 6 4 is 24. Now we have to multiply in this such, such a way that minus 11. So 8 3 is minus 8 and minus 3. So we will get 11 once again. So in the place of minus 11, we will replace minus 8x and minus 3x. So 4x square minus 8x minus 3x plus 6 equals to 0. Now take a common from the first two digit. The common from the first two digit is the common from the first two digit is 4x. So we will get x minus 2. And from the last two digit, we will take the common minus 3. So we will get x minus 2 is equals to 0. Now once again take the common out. So x minus 2 and the remaining term is 4x minus 3 is equals to 0. Now x minus 2 is equals to 0. 
and 4x minus 3 is equals to 0. Now add both the side by 2 in the first equation. So we will get x equals to 2 and in the second term we have to add 3 in the both the side. So we will get 4x equals to 3. Now divide both sides by 4 in the second term. So we will get x equals to 3 divided by 4. Let's solve the last example. Our last example is 9x square plus 12x minus 5 is equals to 0. Now plus and minus. So we will go for the plus and minus. First of all, 9 5 are 9 5 are 45. So we have to divide in the such a way that 12 becomes. So it's uh, 15 3 are. So positive value is first and negative value is second. So let replace in the place of 12x. So we will get 9x square plus 15x minus 3x minus 5 is equals to 0. Now take the common from the first two digit. The common from the first two digit is 3x. So we will get the remaining term 3x plus 5. Now take the common from the last two digit. We will take the last two digit minus 1. We will take the common minus 1. So once again we will get 3x negative and negative it become positive. So positive 5 is equals to 0. Now the common term is 3x plus 5 and the 3x minus 1 is equals to 0. So therefore 3x plus 5 is equals to 0 and 3x minus 1 is equals to 0. Now in the first term we will subtract both the side by negative 5. So we will get 3x equals to minus 5 and in the second term we will add both the side by 1. So we will get 3x equals to 1. After that in the first equation we will divide both side by the 3 so we will get x equals to minus 5 divided by 3 and in the second term we will divide by 3 so we will get x equals to 1 by 3 thank you yeah.